everyone, my name is Dr. Samantha Monroe, and I am an ecologist, which means I study plants and animals and how they interact with their environment. I absolutely love my job, which is why in this video I wanted to share with you what I think are the top five best things about being an ecologist. If you are thinking of becoming an ecologist, or you just want to know more about what that career might be like, then I think you'll find this video really useful. Hopefully it can help you decide if this career is right for you. Let's begin. The first thing I love about my job as an ecologist is that I get to spend a lot of time outside and I get to interact with nature. There are lots of different types of ecologists. Some study animals, plants, and others study non-living parts of ecosystems like the water cycle. But regardless of what type of ecologist you want to be, you will probably need to spend at least some of your time outside collecting data. Because I'm an ecologist, I've gotten to study all sorts of wild animals, including sharks, other fish, and crustaceans. I've also spent time studying plants that live in the Australian outback, and my most recent project is studying soil biochemistry. Being an ecologist has allowed me to make a career out of getting outside and being with nature, and I absolutely love that part of my job. Now, to be clear, depending on the type of job you get in ecology, you probably won't be spending all of your time outside. As a research scientist, I also spend a lot of my time indoors, sitting at a computer, doing data analysis, and writing up research papers. But even if it isn't the majority of what I get to do, a career in ecology does let me spend a lot more time outside than I probably would get to do in most other jobs, and I love it. The second thing I love about being an ecologist is that I'm always being challenged and I'm constantly learning something new. On any given day, I might be working with a totally new species, working in a completely new habitat, or learning some new type of analysis. Regardless of what it is, my job is always challenging me in new ways. Science is extremely fast-paced, and so if you want to be successful, you have to keep up. And while sometimes this can be a bit exhausting, to be honest, because you're always pushing yourself to grow and learn and do new things, Things, it's also incredibly rewarding because ultimately that means you're gonna get new skills and abilities. I love that my job challenges me to be better every single day. It's also pretty exciting when you realize you're not only pushing your own boundaries, but you are pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. You are helping to discover things about the world that no one else has ever known before. Of course, most of the time, scientists, when we make discoveries, they're kind of little discoveries. They sort of build on each other over time until we make some kind of big realization. But it is still really rewarding to know that even in some small way, you are creating more knowledge in the world. The third great thing about being an ecologist is that no day of my job is ever the same. As an ecologist and as a scientist in general, I take on a lot of different roles and responsibilities. Some days I might be out in the field, other days I might be in the lab, other days I might be sitting at my desk doing statistical analysis or writing papers, and yet on other days I might be in the classroom teaching or mentoring or maybe even talking to the media about my work. For me, one of the greatest parts about being an ecologist is that it lets me do all these different things and that I have so much variety in my job. I find working in ecology and in science, it just gives me the right balance between all of these different activities and having all of that variety keeps me really engaged in my work. The fourth thing that I really love about being an ecologist is it has given me the opportunity to travel, to explore, and meet lots of new people. I have gotten to study or work at different institutions in countries such as Canada, the Bahamas, Australia, and the United States. I've also traveled for conferences to meet and work with other scientists in countries like New Zealand and South Africa. Great jobs in ecology exist all over the world. So if you're feeling up to it, you can apply for jobs in a different city or a different state or a different country and have a really incredible adventure. Jobs in ecology can also send you out into some of the most distant, remote places on our planet, places that most people will never get to go. And the really cool thing about this is that every time I've ever gone to start a new job or work in a new place, the people have always been fantastic and I've gotten to make a lot of new friends. And the 
fifth thing that I wanted to say that I love about being an ecologist is it gives me the opportunity to help the environment. There are so many habitats and species that are in trouble right now because of human actions. And the loss of species and natural habitats is not only a huge problem for everything else that lives on the earth, but it also has major repercussions for human health and safety. Now, obviously no one single person can solve every environmental problem or save every species, but I really love that I get to be a part of this big global family of scientists all working together to try and tackle these incredibly complex environmental problems. My job gives me such an incredible sense of purpose and I love that even if it's only in a small way, and it usually is only in a small way, I am somehow making a difference. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it for me this time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below, are you someone thinking about a career in ecology? What excites you most about the possibility of being an ecologist? I'd love to hear from you. In the next video, just to keep everything balanced, I will be talking about what I think the top five toughest parts of being an ecologist are, just so everybody has the full picture. In the meantime, you can also watch some other videos that explain what exactly ecology is and the types of ecology you can specialize in. I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you next time.